and welcome back to another video. We find ourselves in front of the bookshelf and cart again because we are doing none other than all of the physical books on my TBR or all the books on my physical. Let's try that again. All of the physical books on my TBR. So right now they're all sitting on this bookshelf. There's a couple on this cart. Otherwise, all of these have been read. I think those two are the only ones that have not been read that are on this cart. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm going to get all these books off and we're going to talk about them and then put them right back. Maybe this wasn't a smart video to do. All right, we're going to start with the very bottom shelf. I've already taken all the books off of it. Um, so first off, I got this one for $2.97. And that is the beautiful, um, I don't know if I will ever end up reading this. This isn't a series. It's about vampires, I think. Um, I only bought the first one because I have no clue whether I'm going to like it or not. And it was only $2.97. So, why pass that up? On the same day as I found that one, I also got this one for $7.97. And that is Heartless. Um, I've heard both good things and bad about this. Um, so... I'm excited to read it. It's also a standalone. It's a fantasy. It's about the Queen of Hearts from um, Alice in Wonderland. So there's that one. Then I was in a real like mafia romance kick at one point and I bought this. This has been in my possession for over a year now. And that is Irresistible Attraction by Willow Winters. And am I ever gonna read it? I don't know. I might sell it on Pango if I ever, if I don't ever get around to it. Um, I read the first one that was in this universe. It was like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It was okay. Wasn't my favorite, but gotta get around to reading this one. And then of course we have Fuel the Fire, the next book in the Addicted Calorie Sister series. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos about the, about the series and I'm really English. I'm really ready to jump back in. So, I don't know. These may be in my July TBR. And then, I found on my bookshelf a book that I started and never finished. And why are we doing the movie people? Once again, publishers. I don't know. We don't want the movie people. And that is Sharp Objects. It's a thriller. Um, I got about halfway through and then stopped. Um, I bought this because um, my aunt was watching this one time and I like watched a little bit of it at her house and I thought it was really interesting and then I saw that it was a book. That's usually how most of my book buying things end up happening is I see a movie or a show that I think is really good and then I see, oh, it's based on a book and then I go out and buy the book. Um, this one was given, let me borrow by my sister-in-law and I've had this for ever um and that is uh secret of southern girls i think this is either a mystery or a thriller and then i am a wizard of oz stan and so i bought the dorothy must die and there is a book that goes in between these don't ask me why i don't have it um because I bought these at the same time thinking that there was no book in between these and now I find out that there is. Um, it's the Dorothy Must Die series. It's um, it's a Wizard of Oz reimagining as if Dorothy were the villain, which I thought that was really cool. I did read some of the first book and it was really good, but that was back like three years ago when um, I wasn't back into reading like I am now. And this was all, this one is also borrowed from my sister-in-law that I've had for almost a year. And it is Girl Unframed. I believe this is also a mystery thriller. And then this one I believe is on my TBR for this month. Will I get around to it? I don't know because I feel myself going into a book slump, which is not good. So I've been listening to an audiobook. But that is Maggie Moves On. Then... When I was in my Outlander era, I bought this one in bed with a Highlander. It is my first like actual like romance romance with this kind of cover and stuff. Will I ever read it? Probably not. It was only like $5. So, and then I have read the whole after series except for this. It came in the book, the box set that I bought. Um, will I read it? I don't know. I may end up just putting it on the shelf because this is just after in Harden's point of view. So, we shall see. Then I have The Guest List. Y'all saw me buy this book, book, The Book Thief. I'm saving this one for when um, I'm no longer on a book buying bed. If you don't know, I'm not allowed to buy books until I've read just about all of the ones on the shelf. And so this is part of a series. There's like 
there's the moral instruments and then there's a spinoff of the infernal devices i want to read all of them but i'm but i only have the first one so i'm gonna save this one closer to the end of this bookshelf so that i can go and buy the next ones this one has been on my bookshelf for almost a year and that is these violent delights will i ever get to it i don't know i think it's like a romeo and juliet retelling is what i believe it is um I don't know, someone motivate me to read that book. Then we have The Do-Over. I started reading this, it is so cute. Um, I recently um, found Lynn Painter when I read Better Than The Movies, love her writing, so I'm so excited to finish this book. And then we have A Long Way Down, the other book in the that I have, uh, The Calloway Sisters and The Addicted Series. All I have to get, all I have left to get is the um, epilogue novel. So now we're gonna do the second row on this shelf. We're gonna go ahead and do the two that are on this cart that have not been read yet. Um, the first one is The Shadow Between Us. Um, this is a fantasy romance, I believe. It might be a part of a series, it might be a standalone, I'm not quite sure, but I've had it for a while and I need to get it read. And then we have Under the Lights. I read the, this, I can't remember what the name of the series is. Um, Field Party. Um, I read the first one, this is the second one. Um, the first one was okay, and then I bought the second one. Was that smart? Probably not, but here we are. All right, so on the second shelf, we have Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. Will I read this? I don't know, you took a guess. Look at that font. It's a um, classic. I bought this like on a whim off of Pango Books for like $3. It is in excellent condition. Will I ever read it? Um, then we have, I believe this is the last Colleen Hoover book that I own but have not read yet, and that is Maybe Someday. It is part of a series. Will I read the whole series? Will I read the whole series? I don't know. Um, then, because me and my mother had a little bit of an obsession with Pride and Prejudice, so we have Pride and Premeditation. This is <laughs> Pride and Prejudice reimagined as a um, murder mystery. Um, and then this one is also from my sister-in-law. It's Before I Let Go. I believe this is also a mystery thriller. Um, so it's a haunting novel. We'll stick readers long after the final page. Ooh, and this looks like something I could get through fast. I think this is the last Taylor Jenkins, Re Taylor Jenkins Reid novel that I own but have not read yet. And that is After I Do. Um, I read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That was not my jam. Um, I read One True Loves. I liked that one. And then I read the um, Daisy Jones and the Six. It was kind of like a three-ish star for me. Then I have the next two books in the Savage Land series. I've read the first three. There are three more. There's one more after this one called The Shadowlands. Um, and then I, because I, I hate myself and I just want to cry, I have a little life. Um, and then this one has also been sitting on my shelf for over a year. The Night Circus. Will I get to it? We'll see. Um, and then we have The Pawn and the Puppet. This is by a TikTok author. Her name is Brandy Elise Sis. Decker. Um, and this is a dark romance. It's set in a, um, I believe it's set in like a mental institution. Um, but there's three books in the series. I just have the one and I've had this for almost a year. I'm telling on myself here with how long I'm like, I've like owned these books. Next we have all of my book of the month books that I have collected and not read. We have The Last Word, The Family Game. This one I'm excited about. This was an add-on, and that is Anxious People. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, Queen of Thieves. The Last Party. I think you see, like, a reoccurring theme with my book of the month. I buy um, romance and things like that, and with my book of the month, I tend to steer towards thrillers. All the dangerous things. I've heard great things about that. Um, the Writing Retreat. And The Soulmate. So those are all of my book of the month books that I own but have not read yet. I am slowly but surely getting through them. I have read one of my book of the month books this month and I'm in the middle of another one. Um, so I'm slowly trying to dwindle these down because I mean, I get a new book every month, so I need to read them. <laughs> all right, now we are doing the top and then this first shelf and it is a lot. I did not realize how many books that I have that I have not read yet. So, um, this is a new one, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I've heard great things. I'm excited about that. Um, this Secret History, Dark Academia, Murder Mystery. Really excited about it. 
um, the flat share. I've had this a while. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, but it sounds really good where they, they share an apartment, but they each work different shifts, like one day and one night, so they never see each other. They leave each other sticky notes, and that's how they end up falling in love. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Another Dark Academia Murder Mystery, Truly Devious. Most of all, it's you by Mia Sheridan. I loved Archer's voice, so I'm slowly making my way through her backlist. Then we have Tools of Engagement. This is in the... Um, what is in the, What is this in? Um... I forget the series, but it's Fixer Up, Lover, or Loser, and then this one. I've read the first two. This is the last one in that. They're interconnected standalones, and I have the Romance Book Club. I've heard mixed reviews about this, so we'll see what I think. And then Something in the Water, The Maidens. I read, um, I read Silent Patient by this author, and I really liked it, so I figured I'd pick up another one by him. And then this book that just came in the mail today. I'm so excited. I ordered this from Blackwell's in the UK. And that is the um, <laughs> the cartoon cover for Marriage Row 1. Because no one wants a man on their, like, a human man on the cover. So, I ordered this from the UK. Um, Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. The last book in the Inheritance Game series. I really need to get to this because I've already read the first two. The second book in the Finley Donovan series. Before We Were Strangers, a book that I am so excited to get to, which is Happy Place. We have The House Across the Lake, Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, Six of Crows. Another book that has been on my um, bookshelf for almost or over a year, which is from Luke All With Love. I, wa I went through this like Mariana Zapata like stage where that like, I was buying them and reading them like they were going out of style and then, and then, I bought this one, like read the first 20 pages and then put it up. Um, so, um, then we have the next two books in the Outlander series. Like I said, I went through an Outlander kick. I've read the first one. I'm this way much through the second one. And then I have the third one. Then we have Kingdom of Ash. I'm currently doing the tandem read and I am um, filming that for you. And so, Kingdom of Ash is the last one. This is a thousand page book. But we'll get there. Dance of Thieves. I've heard lots of good things about it um this is another one that's a duology so i'm saving like this is a duology like i'm saving the ones that there's more to it for like later on that way because i'm trying to keep from buying books the last book this is on my um tbr for this month which is the last book in the crave series then we have dial a for aunties the first book in the dorothy must die series which um, I read almost half of it and then put it down. And that was like a year ago. So I have no idea what goes on in this. Um, I do. I am a fan of the Kingdom of Ash series. And then I read I read the first one in the Flesh and Fire series. So this is the second one. I actually pre-ordered this. So I've had this for almost a year. I just haven't read it. Oops. And then the last book on my physical TBR is Once Upon a Broken Heart. Another one that I am so excited to read. And I know that this is going to be a trilogy. The third one comes out in September or October, I think. So I may wait closer to then to read this so that I can just go and buy the next two. Um, but yeah. So let's put these back on the shelf and count. And then I will give you the total number of books on my TBR that I have not read yet. I have 66 books in my physical TBR. I don't know if this counts. I have the Caraval series. I read the first two. Um, wasn't my favorite, so I didn't read the third one. So if it counts, I have 67, but I'll have to read the first two again in order to read this. I guess I'll have to give it another chance because I was just, I was just reading it because people said that you had to read it before you read Once Upon a Broken Heart, and I really wanted to get that, to that book. Um, that's the only reason why I read it. Um, so I think if I'm reading it to try to enjoy it, not reading it just to try to get to a book, that it might be better. Um, but anyway, that is all the books on Physical TBRs. So, if you have not already, subscribe, join this bookish channel. It would make my day, and I shall see you in my next one.